Hi Pisces, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Pisces placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles, take what resonates. Leave it doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journey. Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? So let's see, Pisces. Let's tap into the energy. Okay, let's see what Spirit wants you guys to know here at this time. Okay. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm. Pisces and our loved ones, me and my loved ones, Spirit, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Pisceans. And protect me as I channel the messages for Pisces. So as you can see, um, as soon as I start wanting to get on here, people want to call. No. <laughs> so as you can see, the cards are double-sided. So I've just been flipping them and you know what I'm saying. Um, that's just how I do it. <laughs> okay, so let's see, Pisces. <laughs> Mixing them up a little bit to get an accurate message for whatever side wants to pop out, I'm guessing. So let's see. What's going on for Pisces Spirit? All right, so we have exposed. Okay, flipped on this side. Okay, it says threatens to expose secrets of partner if they leave or find someone else. Exposes deep and darkest secrets, revenge porn. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at this. I'm not even gonna read the other side because, unless it's necessary, because I don't wanna get confused and shit like that. So let's just stick to one side, y'all. So let's see. What else for Pisces? Lazy lover, hardly puts in the effort to help around the house or with family obligations, feels resentful and burdened by daily chores. Somebody is keeping somebody stuck in a connection they don't want to be in. This is abuse here. <laughs> like somebody here is burdened by somebody else. <clears throat> This side say feels they are the only one taking responsibility of finances, children, health, and other family issues. Cinderella mentality. Yeah, I feel like somebody is trying to leave a relationship, but someone is like threatening them. This is like blackmail. What's what else for? For Pisces. I feel like somebody really regrets. That's too many. I feel like somebody really regrets. Um going in a particular direction. Pandora's box, it said ticking time bomb, suppressed emotions, unwillingness to share and open up, holding back feelings and lacks communication. <laughs> Someone who has anger issues, what the fuck? So we have sick and love, unable to concentrate, sleep, eat, or function in everyday activity, consumed by despair. Child. Bottom of the deck is taxing, demanding, high maintenance, holier than thou attitude, unrealistic expectations, bratty, diva mentality, and acts helpless. So, I, I mean, this could be a man or a woman, child. It's just energy. Okay, but I feel like somebody is angry all the time, or somebody has a mental disorder, child. Okay. Okay, two of cups here. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Unable to concentrate, sleep, eat, or function in everyday activity consumed by despair. Someone's name could be Brittany. Okay, somebody could go by Brit. 525 on the clock. You guys could be seeing. Someone could go by Reggie or somebody's name could be Reginald or Reggie it could be. 
Let's see, Pisces. What's exposed? I feel like I'm also hearing two Pisces. Somebody here could drink a lot or something like that. I'm also hearing too, somebody wants to walk away from something and come towards you. This is that person that's being blackmailed, I'm guessing. They want to come towards you to say something, but the other person is like really saying like you basically can't. Like somebody is like really trying to um, stop someone from like control somebody, stop them from having free will of choice. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody's like taking their anger out on someone because this could be, I mean, <clears throat> whoever this person is that want to come towards you, this could be this nasty person that wants to come towards you, but I don't really get that. But it could be, and they're just like, they're taking their anger out on the other person that they're with is what I'm getting to. Like, they're so mad about something, about the fact that I guess you're leaving or you've moved on or <clears throat> something like that, man. What's, what's exposed? The king of swords so we got aquarius here you could be on the cusp of aquarius pisces i don't have my card down here <laughs> okay i always like my card there <laughs> what's ex queen of pentacles what's exposed yeah the five of pentacles in the reverse <laughs> The Five of Pentacles in the reverse is literally letting go of a connection, letting go of a relationship. Okay. Um, somebody could possibly be walking away. Someone's health is like improving. Their money is going to get better or something like that. I feel like someone is standing their ground or something or trying to anyways. We got Taurus Mercury here. The King of Swords is someone that's communicative or something like that. So this could be somebody like getting ready to communicate some sort of truth. Okay, the King of Swords normally is someone with integrity, self-respect, morals. They make fair and right decisions. Okay, somebody here could be going through or like a, a transformation here. They could be getting signs and synchronicities from Archangel Michael or whatever their spirit team, child. I feel like somebody's standing on business, period. I feel like they don't give a fuck. Um, this could also be like the authorities involved here. Somebody could be getting authorities involved, the authorities, because... Uh, Someone got a problem. What's the, yeah, the seven of wands. What's the king of swords? Yeah, three of pentacles with the five of wands. Capricorn, Mars, Leo, Saturn. The death card, the ace of swords, the world, child. There could be something coming out like on the news. Okay, there could be something um coming out online. If it's not like the news, this could be like online here for some of you. But somebody has gotten some sort of truth and it's closing out a cycle. I know that's for sure. So there's like... This could be like a third party that's like fighting, arguing, bickering. I feel like somebody's like, they, they want to fight. This is like petty ass conflict or mess. Okay, this is like involving a, a lot of people too, I'm getting. Like this could be something going on in somebody's like workplace or something. The King of Swords, this person is cutting somebody off. They're like standing their ground or they're, um, I'm hearing practicing what they preach or they're just, uh, they're being very serious, very strict. Okay, very strict. King of Swords is like somebody that's actually like high value too. They they um they they somebody is raising their standards and setting boundaries. Somebody could be getting their hair done at the salon. It could be get like braids. I don't know if you're getting it done now or you're getting it done soon. Someone could be dyeing their hair like a silverish gray, like storm energy, like a I don't know. <laughs> uh So let's see, what's, um, somebody here wants to come towards you, I feel like, to work with you. Somebody has maybe learned something from the past or learned from a past mistake or maybe several past mistakes. And I feel like somebody wants to come towards you to communicate. But someone is, like, really fighting. Like, they don't they don't want that shit to happen. What's five of wands, child? 
Oh, what is the five of wands? I feel like somebody doesn't give a fuck though. This king of swords, I feel like they don't. Yeah, the four of cups in the reverse. So something is moving or somebody's out of a stalemate. They're going to be moving forward just to regardless of whatever this fighting shit is. I feel like somebody does not care. Like at all. I feel like somebody's like, okay, bitch, expose me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever is clever for you hoes. <laughs> Yeah, somebody is having the inner confidence and strength to stand up to somebody that's abusive or they're just very strategic, manipulative. They're a loser. So, but the four cups in the reverse is like somebody not sitting in a self-absorbed, stagnant energy anymore. They're not thinking about the past no more. Um, somebody's like really fighting somebody because they're seizing an opportunity. What's the three of pentacles? <clears throat> Yeah, the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is right here sees that you're very strong. You have you have integrity or <clears throat> you've overcame. The Ten of Swords in the reverse, I feel like if this is you overcoming some sort of adversity or slander, gossip, bitching, nagging, or this is them. Okay, and they're seeing how strong you are. So it's like, yeah, well, this is somebody that... I should actually be around. I shouldn't be around whoever the fuck this is. They fight, they argue, they bicker too much. They're dramatic. Whoever the fuck this is. Gemini energy. Somebody got a Gemini son. Okay. Somebody wants to work with you because they see the truth. I guess you're more valuable to them. Okay. Like, I feel like somebody feels like you deserve the truth or you deserve something. Because, like, someone really respects how um you've overcame any... um challenges like you don't feed into whatever the fuck this is it's gossiping bickering whatever this is <clears throat> i feel like something too is backfiring on somebody some sort of i don't want to say magic but okay so somebody could do magic here but i was i was trying to say like gossiping or slander or lies here i feel like that shit is backfiring on somebody else's ass somebody here is told on themselves basically like they thought they were so slick trying to lie on somebody or be mean or whatever and i feel like it's backfired like heavy so okay yeah somebody could be getting a restraining order here or a protective order justice with the oh what's behind that yeah the king of wands uh somebody here could be doing it secretly <laughs> since he wanted to stay hidden uh -huh. So this could be, this could definitely be like a restraining order, a protective order, or somebody here is just finally standing their ground against something. What's the five of pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, like this is unnecessary shit that's going on. Page of Souls in the reverse, the Hierophant in the reverse, Taurus energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So a lot of malicious gossip here. I feel like somebody is not conforming. They don't give a fuck. Like somebody is truly not conforming to somebody's shit. Okay, somebody knows that they're meant to be a trendsetter or they're meant to not listen to like what society is saying or copying what society is doing or following down a certain, like going down a certain path. Okay, the Hierophant and the Reverse too is a contract that's being broken. And I feel like somebody here doesn't have anything to say to somebody. They're trying to cut their ass off like real shit. Okay, someone is also just doing things that are where it's showing that they ain't got no morals no common sense i feel like somebody really i'm hearing somebody really don't got no real knowledge for real like they're not really knowledgeable about shit that they say that they're knowledgeable knowledgeable about or whatever this is like too misinformation somebody here is just continuing to spread false rumors lies okay it's like something that's repeating time and time again this is like a negative pattern on repeat with the higher pen in the reverse. But I'm getting this is working in your favor though, this, this higher pen in the reverse here, because it's like you you shouldn't conform to whatever this is or whatever somebody's trying to make you do, you're not conforming. You're standing on like straight business. I'm just saying. Like you're not going to conform here. Somebody wants you to conform or wants you to like do something their way or whatever the fuck. They want you to be a part of some bullshit and I feel like you're not. This could be too like a like a um 
a false prophet here. What's this? Uh, what's the what's this page of swords in the reverse? Yeah, like the Eight of Cups. Yeah, Pisces, Saturn. Walking away from things that are not um serving you or seeing the bigger picture of a situation. Walking away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling. It doesn't make you happy, whatever. Yeah. Somebody is like, doesn't have shit to say to someone. I feel like when there is communication between you and someone or however the shit is going, it's very sarcastic. Somebody's very cynical, very rude. Okay, Page of Souls in the reverse too is like somebody that's scatterbrained or somebody definitely got a problem mentally. <laughs> like they do. Somebody could be giving false information to like the authorities too. Like somebody's like just trying to be messy as fuck. Whoever this is, I feel like somebody's done with that shit. They don't give a fuck. Like, bitch, if you going to... Okay, do what you're going to do. <laughs> I feel like somebody just used that as a scare tactic to keep somebody stuck. I feel like if somebody got secrets, oh, well. They're going to expose them themselves. Or somebody's going to... is ready to be real. They're ready to be authentic. So whatever somebody got to use against somebody, I feel like they don't care no more. And that's how you should move. Like, be real. Be authentic. Everybody go through shit. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Everybody go through shit. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? For anybody to act like they haven't, then they just really, obviously, they're not real. They're not authentic. They're not truly being themselves. <clears throat> so I feel like you shouldn't give a fuck either. Like, um, what's this? What's this lazy lover here? Ten of Pentacles. What's Lazy Lover with the Ten of Pentacles? Nine of Cups. Page of Pentacles wanted to come out. Some of y'all, there could be a child that's significant that's coming. I'm getting Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. There's a child. Nine of Cups is definitely a pregnancy announcement and engagement announcement. Ten of Pentacles is family. This could be some sort of family gathering coming up or whatever. But I see the star poking out too. So this could have something to do with your work too, Pisces. You could be... um coming into some sort of prosperity abundance here this could be fame recognition accolades okay um really yeah the eight of pentacles something that you're good at for work possibly or a new a new business idea this could be like you building an empire though this is a legacy generational wealth here something that's been passed down to you <clears throat> uh, from your ancestors and your your guys your spirit team they want you to have whatever the fuck this is okay So I feel like some of y'all could be definitely getting ready to go into a union or some of some sort, or you're definitely coming up on some sort of like a money opportunity. It's big too. Like this is huge. Some of y'all getting ready to be like rich. You're getting ready to be the first damn millionaire in your family or some shit. I don't know, but whatever this is is gonna make you feel content or happy. I feel like somebody's family too is like greedy. Somebody only thinks about themselves. Okay, somebody like just because I see that sometimes with the nine of pentacles and I mean nine of cups and I'm getting the ten of pentacles. It just seems like maybe or the energy I'm feeling feels like somebody just would rather like, yeah, they got like this mentality of I'm going to just sit back and let somebody else do all the cooking, cleaning, blah, blah, blah. Like somebody somebody got a distorted belief system or somebody's really heavy on gender roles. And I feel like that's fine. You can be heavy on gender roles in a relationship or around the house or whatever. But I feel like somebody is feeling overworked. Somebody just is slaving to death. And it's like, no. <laughs> what's, what's this Ten of Pentacles? Like, I'm getting like two people that's living with other people. They live with other family members or other like just people that they got connections to, I guess. Or that would let them live with them type shit. Okay, I don't know, child. What's Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Gemini, Jupiter. What's Ten of Pentacles? Eight of Swords. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. Somebody could be stuck to someone because they got kids or... <clears throat> Revenge porn. Damn, I just realized... 
Somebody gonna go to jail. <laughs> you do revenge porn or whatever the fuck this is, you're going to jail, honey. Just whatever the hell. But um, so the eight of swords, yeah, somebody feels silenced, bro. Somebody really feels silenced, or somebody also feels like they're not good enough or they're not doing enough here. This is ridiculous. Somebody really feels stuck. They feel trapped. I feel like somebody wants to give you an offer. But it's like they're tripping about you receiving already like something. You already got something already, I feel like, or it's coming in. Somebody's like stuck somewhere or they're stuck on you. Okay. And it's it's like too late for that shit. Because you're moving. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Swords? Somebody here could be getting cold feet about getting married or <clears throat> something like that too. Like they're scared or somebody's like has anxiety or paranoia. Someone feels really stuck. Like what's the though? I mean, yeah. What's the eight of swords? What's the eight of okay, the queen of pentacles? What's the eight of swords, queen of pentacles? The moon. Yeah, this is <clears throat> somebody here too hides who they really are to other people. Like other people see them as nice, calm, mothering, nurturing, whatever, or father, they're the father, but they're really not. Somebody's really abusive, man. The moon, cancer, Pisces. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like there's a woman here that's scared or something. There could be a woman that's scared or you could be the woman. I don't know. But somebody's like in fear or but I just feel like they, they really play small. Like they just stay in their lane or they stay quiet when they're told to stay quiet. This is like abuse. I don't really like it <clears throat> at all, actually. <clears throat> Mm. This could be somebody too that's like, they, they could be a healer. They could be like a white witch here. It's like somebody's going through an awakening or something. Or they could be, if this is a man, they could be like a wizard or some shit. But I feel like somebody too, Pisces, yeah, the King of Pentacles. Somebody too could like want your advice about something. Yeah, somebody's like stuck in a marriage or stuck in a home situation or whatever this is. Somebody could want your advice about something, like how you got out of something, you know, because, I mean, these could be people, obviously it's coming up in your reading, so these could be people that you <clears throat> are involved with or whatever the fuck, right, that you were involved with in the past. What's this moon? Give me more on this moon. There, somebody has like a hidden talent or <clears throat> a hidden gift. Somebody is like using abuse tactics or whatever to <clears throat> keep someone's true potential hidden from them. So that way they won't use their gifts to get out of a situation. Like that that's what I'm saying. What's the moon? <clears throat> What's the moon, child? The lovers in the reverse. <clears throat> Gemini energy. So somebody's really hiding the fact that there's like discord, disharmony. The lovers in the reverse is like trust issues too. It's like somebody, somebody here too is just not taking accountability for something. But this is definitely, definitely discord, disharmony, a lack of trust, a disunion, a broken relationship or something. Okay. I really honestly feel like somebody's trying to figure out how the fuck you got free from this. Like... Whoever this is that's with someone that's lazy or they they trying to the the person that's trying to like get out of this mess is like how the fuck they like how the fuck did you get out of it or 
I'm hearing I should have listened or something like that. I should have listened to you when you told me about somebody's ass or whatever. Okay. Somebody here too is delusional. Like somebody really thinks that I feel like there's a there there could be a woman for some of you. Somebody really thinks that they're married or they're they're still with somebody and they're not. Like the person has left already. It, it's just like somebody's like really tripping. Like somebody really still feels like they're a wife or a husband or somewhere someone. It's like what is wrong with somebody? What's the uh somebody really trying to keep their ident identity hidden too? It's like <clears throat> What's the Page of Pentacles? Yeah, the Three of Swords, Libra, Saturn, the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, the Justice. I feel like that's you. <laughs> and this Queen of Pentacles, something weird about they ass. This person could be scared of like going to jail. Either they're going to real jail or they're going to damn spiritual jail. <clears throat> like I'm serious someone mm -hmm. page of pentacles with the three of swords Libra Saturn somebody trying to leave someone too but there's a child in the mix it's a lot going on right here Pisces like I don't know what the fuck what's this page of pentacles with this three of swords Someone here is trying to come towards someone to give them like some sort of offer or something. But I really, yeah, the cycle has closed out. There's a cycle. There's been a breakup for sure. There's a cycle that's closed out. There's like an ex that's crying or they're sad or whoever the fuck this is. This could be family, however it's going. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> someone can also be a reader. You could be a tarot reader. Or you do something online. You have an online business or I don't know, but there's like this new beginning. You're off to a new beginning, and I feel like somebody's like heartbroken or they're sad. <clears throat> Someone like secretly wants you, they secretly miss you. Like, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit too late for a lot of shit. <clears throat> you know, like, I really do. I really do. What the hell is this Nine of Cups? People are just. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. What's the no? Stop coming under here with that. Stop it. Okay, you can go in there. <laughs> What's the nine of cups with the Knight of Pentacles? The Seven of Cups. Somebody here. This person. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. That's what I'm saying. This is some phony shit right here. The Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Five of Swords. This person, I feel like they're secretly trying to come towards you or trying to do something to you in the background here to get your attention or something like that. But I feel like it's false. It's some bullshit, okay? Someone is like married, but they're trying to come towards you or they got their family on their back or something like that. But I feel like they need to stay the fuck away from your ass because I feel like they're not on no, 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 they're not coming for anything good or they're only coming to benefit their ass, whoever the fuck this is. That's crazy. They blocked from coming towards you too, like I said, because you already in something. Yeah, the star, the magician, the will of fortune, the empress, exactly, knight of cups. I feel like you didn't already manifest it, whatever you wanted. It's coming in or it's here now. Somebody else is like they're stuck or they feel like they need your help now or some shit like that or they tired of the person that they chose because they can't abuse them. So they trying to come back to a person that they didn't already abuse and already left their ass. No, 29, 39 on a timer. 9, 3, 9 could be significant. Like, absolutely the fuck not. It's like somebody's lying. Somebody's like intentionally pushing someone away or trying to like trying to get rid of somebody. But it's all to like come back towards you. So they, they're making up shit. They're lying. They're saying, oh, well, I want to leave because 
blah 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 i feel like people are arguing and shit like that but i want to leave because blah 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 but it's really they want to leave because they're love sick they're still in love with you or something like that but i feel like it's to come back and abuse you i feel like they're coming back to use you here someone sees that you're a very hard worker or whatever like <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles is someone that always finishes what they start or somebody that is a hard worker. They're very responsible. Yeah, the Two of Swords, they're very responsible or something. Let's see, because this could be somebody too that's very strategic, very methodical. It could be in not in a good way. Someone here is like, I'm seeing somebody, someone is in a household with somebody and they got to sneak off to like try to manifest you back or what in whatever way that they're doing this. You know, kind of like when I'm getting Pisces is... Somebody just needs to release you, man. <laughs> I'm I'm really getting though. This is a lot of fantasizing and 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 daydreaming like this that's that's going on here. Somebody just won't give it up. They just want to keep trying to come towards you or something like that. Somebody too could like masturbate to you a lot. Like they fantasize about you a lot or masturbate to you. This is how they're trying to like manifest you. Could be sex magic that somebody is doing. Okay, like what's this? Uh, what's this Knight of Pentacles? <laughs> like, I don't... Okay, you're the King of Cups. Okay. Let me see. What's the Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups? The Nine of Pentacles. Virgo, Venus. We got Scorpio here you could be dealing with. I feel like your guys are all over this reading, too. Your guys are not letting somebody come towards you. Like, they done waited too damn late. And they do too much. They're, they're, I just don't feel like they're a good person. And they're trying to leave the person that, the other victim that they didn't set up here and abused or whatever and trying to come back to the person that has gotten away and, and broken free and has healed. Absolutely the fuck not. I don't think so. Not at all. Somebody's like restricted from bothering whatever this Ten of Pentacles is for you if you're getting something. Yeah, we got the Nine. Some of y'all are definitely like going to get married. I feel like people are trying to interfere with this. Like some of y'all getting ready to get engaged or something. Somebody just always wants to be in the way. I feel like there's a King of Cups here or, uh, or a guy that freed you. The Nine of Pentacles is someone that's self-made. They're a boss. They're free, financially free, very wealthy, prosperous, whatever. I feel like too, this is a lot of energy going on. It's a lot going on. Somebody's like trying to like cloak their real energy so that way you can be confused about who they actually are so they can come towards you and live off of you. Somebody's like an opportunist. They're an opportunist here. They just are. Whoever this is from your past, something didn't quite work out the way that they planned. Okay, they, they could be looking for help or they're trying to use some sort of energy work to get this help from you but i feel like it's a no yeah the ten of cups poking out right here the empress the knight of cups again the star the magician it's like somebody here is just on some fuck shit to be honest it's like shit falling apart every which way <laughs> everywhere you guys will be saying nine 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 there could be something that's slowly developing it's slowly like um leveling up but it's leveling up nonetheless so there could be something that you just need to have patience for okay i feel like somebody here too they, they genuinely love you they care about you this could be somebody else somebody else the person that you're actually going to marry or be with or work with in whatever way like yeah the son the high priest is the star child <laughs> what's the seven of cups this is like drama and it's just like for what i don't really see the point six of swords uh aquarius mercury so yeah this six of swords is like spiritual guidance okay this is somebody's guides here guiding them away from something i kind of like to feel like there's multiple people here that still got feelings for you a lot of people that still haven't taken accountability and everybody's like looking at you like wow I shoulda, woulda, coulda, kind of like energy. It's like, I don't understand what the fuck. I really don't get it. I don't. Everybody got lazy lovers or somebody trying to expose somebody if they leave and walk away and come towards you. Everything's surrounding you. <laughs> okay, like I find that shit to be funny. So 
I feel like too, somebody's gods, okay, trick someone. They went right into a fucking illusion. Some of you guys have a lot of work opportunities that could be like, you have to maybe travel at a distance, okay, to go do this. Let me, what's the seven of cups and the six of swords? The sun in the reverse. Yes, somebody, okay, so somebody's like confused Leo energy about how you're moving forward. Like I said, they're like, how the fuck did you get out of something? Or how did you make it out of something? Whoever this is had high expectations or high hopes to what? Keep you stuck and continue to use you and abuse you or, or have their cake and eat it too. They go fuck with somebody else but come back to you. It's like, no, with their fucked up nasty behavior. Somebody's like confused on how you got out of something and they have high hopes for you to what? Stay stuck? Okay, it's like all this good energy, all this bad energy is intertwined with this good energy. It's like real weird, this reading. Somebody's like miserable. They're sad, they're miserable, they're depressed. It's like somebody is like, they don't feel very victorious. They're lacking confidence here. They're low on energy. They feel weak. Whoever this is, like, someone here is not too enthused about you moving forward. And they sit back thinking, like, well, how? How, bitch? It's because somebody's spirit team don't play that shit. Justice here with the tower. Child. Aries, Scorpio. We got Libra. Mm. Now somebody's like realizing that they're stuck with lazy hoes or they, they pick somebody that's lazy or whatever this is. And it's like, well, it, but it kind of like it's giving me you wanted to be able to use this person. You know what I'm saying? This person wanted to be able to use you just like they want to be able to they want to be able to use this other person. And I feel like now they got to get out of something. OK, just like how you had to get out of something. It's just I don't know. This is a mess. What's Pandora's box? Taking time bomb. Yeah, a child, the justice in the reverse and the chariot in the reverse. Libra here, we got cancer. So somebody here just doesn't want to take accountability. I feel like someone's intuition is going off too about who they really are with. <clears throat> okay, like, it's just Pisces. <laughs> like, I don't fucking... I don't know, but um, <clears throat> the chariot in the reverse is like someone that's lacking direction. Okay, someone that's like very forceful. They could be very aggressive or um, this is something too that's like blocked. Something is just blocked because somebody just won't. Yeah, you have a lot of protection here. Somebody just won't take accountability. Like somebody just refuses to do that. They, you have it here. Somebody here knows what they did but they don't want to see it though or they want to try to get around it they, they want to keep trying to offer you certain things and instead of actually doing the right thing by telling you the truth or taking accountability for some shit that they did okay it's like what the fuck what's the chariot in the reverse <clears throat> somebody somebody's bad karma because they're definitely in bad karma somebody's karma a part of their karma because i know that's not just it they, their car could be fucked up somebody's having car issues or they they can't really travel. They can't really do much of anything. Like, what's the trade in the reverse, man? <laughs> what's the trade in the reverse? Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, they... <clears throat> what's the trade in reverse with the high priestess? That's you, Pisces. The nine of wands. Yeah. Strong card, the devil. Leo, Capricorn energy. Oh, boy. Somebody is trying to sway you, okay? They're trying to, like, play on your subconscious or they're trying to make you doubt your intuition. I feel like you are you already know internally that you need to have your guards up or protect yourself. Yeah, taking time bombs, suppressed emotions, unwillingness to share and open up, holding back feelings and lacks communication. 
this person here has lost their mind. It's like, oh, I'm so serious. Somebody, yeah, somebody keeps on trying to reach out to you. I feel like this is spiritually because whoever this is, I feel like it's really not in the 3D. Now, for some of you, they are. So just take it how it resonates. But this is somebody here trying to send you energy. They're trying to see if something is going to grow and expand or something is going to, uh, if they're able to reach out to you. I feel like they ass is blocked because this person needs to do some shadow work, like a lot. Okay, they have to spend years doing shadow work. Whoever this is, <laughs> like they have a lot of shadow work to do. Five years, 10 years, nine years. They got three years. I don't know. That's a long time too, child. They need to do some work on themselves. This person is just, I don't know what their problem is. <clears throat> Somebody's like waiting to see if the communication is coming towards you and shit like that. I feel like it's not. You're unbothered. I feel like you're grounded. You're secure. You're stable. You could be the mother of this person's child or flip the roles. You could be the father of this person's child. <clears throat> I'm hearing Avant, don't take your love away. Don't take your love away. Baby, don't take your love away from me. I need you, girl. Don't take your love away. Oh, don't take your love away. Child, please. The love is taken away. We snatched that shit back, bitch. Ain't nobody got time for this. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it is. So... Anyway, somebody, I feel like, I feel like, obviously, somebody is hateful. The chariot in reverse is like love winning over hate here. This person's hatred, it's like really, this energy is like really obsessed in a very, very unhealthy way. Like somebody here hates you, but they love you at the same time. Somebody here just really doesn't know themselves. They don't have no direction here without your energy, without being able to access you or do spiritual things to you or whatever this is they ain't got no fucking <clears throat> i don't know man and i do see we got the high priestess upright and the hierophant in reverse this is like some sort of past life relationship where you were with this person in a past life i guess or whatever the fuck this is <clears throat> and i feel like you finally released the contract or you finally let the shit go somebody's refusing to learn a lesson they're still continuing to be like hateful so i feel like you walked away <clears throat> Nine of Wands is like you you protecting your corner, like you're fighting back or you have your guards up. Like this is like you being like resilient. I feel like you're very spiritually strong, very spiritually resilient. You you know how to move here. You know how to maneuver through shit like this now. Like you're very smart. Okay. And child, what's the justice in the reverse? Yeah, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, Virgo energy. What's the justice in the reverse with the Eight of Pentacles? The Two of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like something here, yeah, something is going to progress. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, and the Page of Wands and the Three of Wands. Some of y'all getting ready to start a whole damn family, child. I'm telling you. Like, that's just what this is. And, <laughs> like, I don't know what somebody here is, is trying to do, but it's not going to work. It's not working. Somebody don't want to see you move on. Like, they're actually love sick here. This person, but they're obsessed. They're dark and they're nasty individual. They're hateful. It's like, how the fuck you... What? What? <clears throat> Somebody could have sent people or sent someone here to cause an argument or fight with you to break something up. Like, they're using third parties to get you in your mind or to fuck some shit up or whatever. It's not working. Somebody here is still getting dropped and the relationship is still moving forward. Somebody thought that if they sent somebody else to, to gossip or start fights with you or to start mess, that it would work. It's not. It's not working. It's like you're off somewhere else and they're off somewhere else too, but they don't like where they're at. So they want to try to ruin something that you got. It's like, no, bitch. So with the Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, I feel like you're committed. You're focused on your on your relationship here. You're in love with somebody or you're going to be somebody here this is somebody's bad karma seeing you in love and this is bad karma for they like it's this is some real bad karma for them i feel like because they're so obsessed with you like they're gonna drive themselves insane and like they're gonna literally drive themselves insane watching you be in love or yeah this person is obsessed this person is obsessed the devil and the page of cups they try to act like they're innocent or they want to keep holding on to you because y'all got kids together and shit like that it's like bitch that never meant shit honey <laughs> like what the fuck just because you got kids with somebody does not mean something to still want to like no somebody here and 
no <laughs> it's just it's just no so somebody's actually seeing you progress and it's like well i still want to play victim or i still want to be the one to you know what i'm saying look innocent I feel like this person has said a lot, has done a lot here to you, and I feel like you overcame everything. Yeah, the truth. Ace of Swords, you overcame everything. Strength card, death card. Somebody here is blocked. They ass gonna have to eat that. They gonna have to take that damn L and move on. You deserve whatever this relationship is, this love, this partnership, this union, whatever the fuck. Yeah, you're free. The fool. The Ace of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, Four of Swords. You can finally rest easy. Like... What's sick in love here, child? Someone needs to do that, like, their inner work. Here, we got number four. Some of y'all can have a four-year-old. Okay, that's like the emperor. So this could definitely be a man that's, like, sick in love. They're, this could be a father figure. It doesn't mean that they're an emperor, they're a divine, anything. They're not. Not with this energy. Yeah. Four of wands, the empress. Yeah, and the ten of wands. This, this is what you're graduating from here, empress. You're releasing this mess. This ain't your mess to carry no more. Your burden to carry. You're releasing this in order to have a successful union with somebody. So this, this is a, for some of you, it could be a man or woman, whatever the fuck. But <clears throat> somebody here could be doing jar spells, okay, with this jar here. Or they're using like anointing oil for different things. They're doing like love magic or something. Or they mixing up some shit, potions and mm. <laughs> I don't know. I have some roses here. My man just brought me that look like this. This color. That's funny. So, anyways. <sighs> Intense sadness or frustrations that arise from being Unable to be with love one physically or emotionally. Feels as if one can't move on. Yeah, somebody like tripping. This person, what's, so the death card, Scorpio energy, something is over. You're going through a transformation. What's the sick in love with the death card? Somebody is like spazzing. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. This shit is over with so you can have like a beautiful connection. Okay, you're meeting better people. Your vibration has raised. So you're on a higher frequency. You're meeting better lovers, better people. For those of you that are not in anything, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you're you're free to do whatever the fuck you want. Your spirit team has your back. It's like... What's the death card? The Knight of Swords. What's the death card, Knight of Swords? The Temperance, yeah. So there could be some sort of like quick and fast changes that are happening. Okay. The temper, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini or whatever, but I feel like there's like hella protection here because I feel like somebody's like angry. They're aggressive or somebody here quickly like try to rush towards you very quick or with some bullshit. And I feel like they got blocked. The death card, the temperance, and the knight of swords. What am I picking up with that? I feel like you're also doing a lot of fast healing. Like something is moving fast or something is coming towards you very quickly. But then it's so contradicting because it's about a temperance. So there's like patience here too. But I just feel like this is protection as you stay focused and move forward. Okay, something is just like transforming really quickly or is ending very fast. What's, let me see. What's this Knight of Swords here? I feel like, yeah, the Queen of Cups. There you are, Queen of Cups. This, okay, there's like an earth angel that came towards you or is coming towards you. Or these are like avenging angels here. These could be like uh, angels of darkness that spirit has to avenge you in the 3D here. Your spirit team is not playing that shit. I'm getting this Knight of Swords and the King of Cups. They could be the same people too. This person is like heroic. This is somebody here that has... heals something within you that actually causes transformation you connecting to whoever this king of cups is your counterpart this is like a true genuine connection it, it yeah it balanced something out for you so yeah it, it got rid of this emperor there they go the emperor with the five of cups this is this person they're not a divine masculine either or this person has said that you have a divine masculine in your energy but i feel like this is just a father okay like this is just a father figure your baby daddy your actual daddy whatever the fuck whoever this is they sad as hell this person here could even be like actually sick. 
Like I told like they're driving themselves insane. Okay, what's the what's the Knight of Swords with the Queen of Cups? Something quickly came in and just like pushed this energy out. And that's what it was supposed to happen. You were guided to meet someone at a certain time and that's what the fuck happened. Or this is what's happening for y'all. What's the Knight of Swords with the Queen of Cups? Yeah, the Four of Swords. Yeah, Four of Swords. Libra, Jupiter. So this is like healing, rest. I was, I was hearing restoration, peace. Um, this could be you guys like at your altar praying or um, it's just like you just want peace. Like you're so peaceful. This could be somebody too trying to attack you in your sleep and shit like that. Like they're trying to, this person is crazy. This person has really lost their mind. They're trying to like attack you when your back is turned or when you're sleeping or something like that. I feel like somebody's like stressed. They're contemplating, thinking a lot. They're overthinking. Child, what's the temperance? <laughs> yeah, the hermit, Virgo energy. What's the temperance with the hermit? Get a star, Aquarius. Yeah, this person here is blocked. Like, they, they're blocked. And they're trying to show up as the emperor in this reading to make it so that they're divine. They're not. <laughs> this person here, uh, no. It's like, it's like you're taking your child. If you have a child with this person or children, it's like you're taking your children and you're moving forward still. Like, somebody feels like because y'all got kids that they that's going to keep you stuck and they can still control you or whatever. No, the fuck they cannot. Okay. I'm also getting, like I said, this person is trying to play victim or play innocent. Your children, too, are very much so protected. They're going to grow up to be very strong like you. They're not going to take after their weird-ass daddy or their weird-ass mama. Like, or your weird-ass, their weird-ass grandma, grandparents, whatever the fuck this is. Right? So, the star with the hermit. I feel like because of all the healing work that you've done, because of all the... um faith that you have and because you've been so positive and loving and kind throughout this whole situation spirit has brought in some sort of avenging angels and earth angel and earth angel to you i meant to say spirit has brought in some sort of avenging angel and an earth angel towards you to build with like that's that's who's in your life now it's completely the love that you have for this person and vice versa is going to completely knock this person out of your energy for good there is no coming back there is no coming back, like just period. Somebody here knows what they did to you and they just sitting in and shit. Like they're upset about it or they they this, they that. It's like, well, if you take accountability and I feel like with this person, if they want to take accountability, they're only taking accountability if they do later because they want you back. So that's not even really them taking accountability. That's just them wanting something. They want to come in to manipulate you or to make you feel bad about moving on i feel like you're not so if that's what they're expecting they can actually like move forward move on leave it alone just don't even come back and apologize or whatever the fuck i just feel like somebody's going crazy because they did shit behind your back yeah the magician and the damn devil and the two of swords they did this shit behind your back okay and they thought that you were going to be weak enough to fall victim to whatever this is and you actually got stronger you found true love within yourself and somebody else and you moved on now they're just like, they can't believe that they got, that you got away. So now they got all the secrets that they did behind your back that they're too scared to admit. That's going to make you not even want to fuck with them anymore. So now what they're doing is they're, they're, it's just like a whole bunch of shit going on. It's going to drive their ass crazy. They're just going to drive themselves crazy. That's it. That's it. So anyways, what's, uh, what's the Ace of Cups? Okay, yeah, the Seven of Wands. Whatever this love is right here is protected. It's just protected. It's not going nowhere either. Yeah, this person here using black magic or using magic to, to like, block out your heart chakra to stop you from feeling love or happy. They want to keep bringing up, like, childhood trauma or inner child wounds to affect you, to keep you stuck so they can keep using you. This person is abusive. They're abusive. What's the Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands? Leo, Mars. Okay, yeah, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is just like in genuine. This is someone that's a troublemaker. They're obsessed. They're just obsessed. They're really obsessed. It's so unhealthy. 
It's so unhealthy. This person here is sleeping around too. They're having a lot of one night stands and let's give me more on this night of cups in the reverse. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. What's the Knight of Cups in the reverse? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Mm. This person, their intuition is blocked. Mm. Somebody here went towards something for money purposes or whatever the fuck. And... It didn't work out. This person, their 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 uh their spiritual gifts are blocked here. Their intuition is blocked, and they ain't got no creativity. I feel like too. Somebody does something for money. They could be, whoever this is, let me see, what's this Ten of Wands? The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Somebody here could be homosexual, child. I keep I keep channeling that. Like, this person could be on the down low. Yeah, whoever this is, could, they could have Leo in their chart. This person shapeshifts a lot, okay? King of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Tower. Somebody's trying to run away from some sort of karma. They're literally trying to run away from a tower from happening for, for their ass. Okay. Someone too. This person is dangerous. I feel like spirit blocked their ass or you blocked their ass just in time. What's this seven of wands right here? Because it's like, yeah, the five of swords. Like this is a mess. It really is. I feel like this person is very revengeful. They're very spiteful because you could have revoked your offer from them or whatever the fuck. I feel like somebody too is revoked. They revoked their offer from someone else that they would to try to come back to you. And I feel like it's a no. Like this person, it's just no, sir. No, ma'am. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Mm. Give me a card for Pisces. So we have Demeter. Kali. Mm. Okay. Isn't Demeter the protector of mother and mothers and, and children or women and children rather? That's a uh, whose mama is that? Perse Persephone's mother? Or so the key word is tenacity. The symbols are cornucopia, corn, bees, and honey. And your affirmation is I can and I will. So it says Demeter is the Greek goddess of the earth, agriculture, and fertility, who is extremely passionate and loyal to her family. Okay, yeah. When her daughter Persephone was abducted to the underworld, Demeter was tenacious in her search. She was so single-minded in her hunt for her daughter. The season stopped changing and all living things started to die. Her determination paid off and a deal was struck so, per so Persephone could return to Earth so the seasons could continue. Demeter's message is never to give up. This is a sign you are on the right track and you just need to keep going. You have no idea just how close you are to a breakthrough. So while it may feel like a lot of hard work now, know that it will be worth it. You will thank yourself later for all that you have done to improve your life and, your and yourself. If, you're, if you truly want something, you need to let go of distractions and persist until you get what you want. Success is usually 10% glamour and 90% bloody hard work. <laughs> you can't have what you want in life without being willing to work for it. Embrace Demeter's tenacious energy and go after your goals. Yeah, and you are. And you are. So it says work with Demeter. Get some good noise canceling headphones or put your phone on silent to block out distractions. Join a mastermind group with, with other people who are doing the work for their dreams and read books about tenacious people. Okay, so yeah, you, you are on the brink of something. Where's that nine wands at? Uh I keep feeling hair on my lip. Right here with the um high priestess.
So let move this deck out of my way. So this was your reading Pisces. I hope it resonated. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bells on, press the all button so you guys won't miss my readings, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.